While we had uh, the NSX out and was giving the uh, BMW a health check, uh, I figured, you know what, let me just do what I needed to do. I've always wanted to do with the NSX, which is troubleshoot the noise that was coming from the rear. Um, it kind of sounds like like one of the wheels is it's like maybe might have lost a wheel weight or or you're running like you know like dirt track type um tires that was so noisy so i figured i'd grab the uh the wheels off of the sti and was kind of hoping that the offset and um the sizing would fit and actually looks like it does it still it still has some room actually a lot of room so um but anyway so i'm gonna give her a quick drive to make sure actually just to see if that noise will go away because i wasn't sure if it was the rear or the front um i get a sense that the um that this wheel since it's um but the thing is it's it's a 17 also in the front um uh, will fit i mean if you look at the stock i mean the gap on this thing is like crazy you mean like the gap my full hand fits in there and the offset it's just like huge but anyway um i think i could fit that but um really i just want to just troubleshoot the rear for now and see um where that noise is coming from and to see if that'll disappear so i don't know if you guys can hear the sound I'm noticing is that she is dependent on speed seems to get louder also as, uh, as I gain speed so I got the fronts but as you can tell the uh, offset is not good it's pretty much taken out but um, considering that it's on stock height and it's got a huge gap I should be able to just drive her uh, for a little bit just to test to see if the noise goes away but I'm not gonna keep her on. Um, you can tell, see? So, um, you can tell that she's off. But uh, that should be enough clearance for me to be able to clear just for a quick drive. Well, so, that didn't like it at all. Um, the TCS kept, uh, kept flashing. Um, and it actually took the power out and uh, I believe that that's how it works I need to read up on it I'm not quite sure yet but um, yeah essentially as soon as the TCS started flashing um, I, 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 I literally lost power so anyway I'm gonna put the stock wheels back on and um, the sound was still there not as not as uh, prevalent but um, but still there so uh, I'm starting to guess now that it might be maybe a stuck caliper or something um, so I'm gonna be inspecting that uh, fairly soon so the day after uh, trying to troubleshoot what the noise is I decided to go ahead and replace the fuel no not the fuel the air filter because um, I don't know when the last time the owner uh, made the change but um, lo and behold look what I find uh, looks like some insulation material uh, underneath actually from the uh, from the outside uh, luckily it did not uh, penetrate and 
what's more interesting is what I find inside. And I don't know if you can see that. Let me uh, pause this and kind of get some light on there. Get my other phone. Oops. I'll put some light underneath there. If you guys can see this. Um, I'll just put this in underneath there. And then you guys can see. Um, there you go. So must have been a squirrel or some sort of animal trying to get underneath. Uh, luckily, it didn't eat through. As a noun, it means an agile tree dwelling rodent with a bushy tail, typically. Okay, thanks, um, Apple. As a noun, it means an agile tree dwelling rodent with a bushy right. tail. Okay. Anyway, so. As a noun, it means hello. an agile tree dwelling rodent with a. Thank you. I don't need the definition. Uh, but anyway. Um, as you guys can tell, um, whatever animal it was, it was trying to stuff it with, um, whatever that material is. I don't think there's any, I don't know if there's any droppings in there. But it looks like, uh, might have been a squirrel because I'm seeing a lot of nuts back there. So hopefully nothing, you know, I'm seeing the throttle body uh, as being clean so uh, and there's no holes on the bottom of the intake so whatever it was was probably just using it as a as a place to stay maybe in the cold so this car may not have been in the garage 100% um, of its um, its time uh, in the owner's possession. Um, I mean, I don't doubt John having it um, in the garage, but I mean, there's, it only takes a, a night or two to be able to, some, for some animal to come in and use this at its, as its home. But yeah, so I was kind of wondering why it, was, it wasn't as responsive, maybe. Um, wasn't getting the air that it needed because it was completely stuffing that port um, right there. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clean her out and hopefully she drives better. But yeah, um, okay. Uh, that's a first for me. So it looks like this has been there a while. So I don't know how long this has been in in this state um trying to draw air in but yeah i mean it's yeah i i'm completely floored and shocked although you know i'm actually glad that i decided to check um i was gonna kind of just uh, leave it there for a while until I actually did the oil change, um, which is, um, which actually I've already done. Well, what am I talking about? I was talking about, uh, what I meant was the transmission change, um, the transmission oil, uh, and, uh, flushing the, uh, coolant because I am going to go with a bigger rad. So anyway, um, thought I'd maybe throw that in, in this video, maybe, have this in a separate video uh, I, I'm I'm, st I'm still floored um, but yeah I, I guess I'm glad I caught that uh, I would have caught that eventually anyway because I, I did plan on changing the uh, the rest of the fluids uh, this coming weekend but yeah uh, hmm oh by the way I think I'm gonna leave that uh, the rear wheels back there uh, for a bit and just simply because um, it's it's the right size. Uh, well, not really the right size because I do want to go 18s back there uh, and a little bit of a lower profile. Um, but it fills the wheel gap a little better than um, than the stock. So the only difference is really just the off the offset. So uh, otherwise the um, 
the specs on that is the same as the stock, just a little wider uh, on the tires uh, and the offset on the wheels. Uh, so it's not throwing the TCS off, so which is good. So I can run with that for a little bit. Although it kind of looks kind of weird um, having the stock in the front and um, and those in the rear. Kind of looks like a, maybe like a drag pack or something. But um, well, I don't know. I might change my mind. So one thing I'm kind of still dumbfounded about is how like really small this thing is. These slats that goes into the intake and. Um, how it must have been a chipmunk. It has to be. I mean, I don't know what they eat. I'm assuming they eat acorns, because that's what was uh, in that in, that uh, air box. Um, I, I think the squirrel is too big for this. I mean, if you look, I mean, it's like finger height. So um, can't be a rat. I mean, unless rat rats eat uh, nuts. But um, I don't know, if you guys have any ideas. Let me know, but I, I'm still confused. I, I mean, there's there's nothing behind the wheel well that's that's cut open or anything like that. This is the only entry, so that's um, it's got to be a chipmunk, uh, tiny enough. It can't be a squirrel unless it's a baby squirrel, but um, I mean it's enough to fit the um, the acorns through there. But I, I don't know, I'm still confused, but. Um, yeah, I ordered the uh, K&N. Uh, should be coming here. It's supposed to be coming here Sunday, um, so I get the driver again. I mean, I could literally just maybe um, clean this up a bit if I had to drive her, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, it's really filthy. I mean, it's it's really filthy. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for the K&N uh, drop-in filter and um, run with that for a while. Uh, I don't. I think the um, the design is well enough that. Um, I don't think an aftermarket um, like cone type filter is going to be any good for for this because it'll just um, take in the heat from the engine bay. So um, I think I'm just going to just keep the stock airbox. Or maybe something get um, something a little bit better. I, I have to look. I don't know much about aftermarket parts for this car yet, so uh, I want to see what my options are. Just work through this car and uh, hopefully get it to the point where um, it's up to the. It's up to a point where I, I, aesthetically I like uh, where it is. Uh, I'm not going to do much as far as performance for now. Uh, I might just do a lot of the NA stuff, which is headers, test pipe, exhaust, uh, lower the car, and get some wheels. Uh, maybe do a little bit of aesthetic stuff like side skirts and a front lip. but um, And then clean the interior. Uh, steam clean it and maybe do something with the leather uh, because she does have some wear. Um, by the way, one of the things I hate about this the seats is that when I was working on the relays back there, sorry about the lighting, uh, these guys won't, I mean, the only thing I could do with it was move it up. I couldn't tilt this forward to get that room. Uh, I didn't feel like removing the seats just yet. I mean, I do plan on cleaning the, the carpet, but I really didn't want to remove the seats and create more work for me while I was doing the relays. I was able to kind of get to it uh, easy enough, except for the TCS uh, relay, that which was in the corner there, um, as you saw. But yeah, so stick around. Hopefully you guys can... Uh, Give a follow, subscribe, and you know, just check out what I do with this car. Uh, so you're seeing the car now uh, as a blank template or a blank canvas. Um, I guess you're gonna, you guys, are gonna see the progression and see what she comes out to um, when I'm all uh, done. Uh, but that that'll take, that'll be a while.